Hi, this is Kevin with Muse Research. Welcome to this video about using the Native Instruments Service Center in offline mode. Using the Service Center in offline mode will be necessary anytime your network doesn't have an internet connection or you're using a crossover connection directly into your own computer. To begin, just load any one of your Native Instruments plugins and click on the interface. You should be prompted with this screen to demo, buy, or activate. Click on activate. If your Native Instruments plugins are already registered, you can still get to the service center by loading Reactor 5. Just click to go into the user interface, then find this drop-down menu at the top of the screen, go to help, and launch service center. After quickly checking for the internet connection, Service Center should bring you to this screen. Choose the last option to continue without connecting to the internet. Then you should be presented with this simple list of instructions. After hitting create, you'll be given a list of software that's ready to be registered. Proceed to enter the serial number for any software you need registered. And then, once you have your serial numbers entered, click on create. Once the save file dialog opens, it's going to default to a place called desktop on your receptor. Now, this is a little bit hard to find, so I would suggest you use the drop-down menu up here to select Drive C. This is the first screen you see when you connect to this receptor hard drive. Next, it's time to get our activation request off the receptor's drive. So launch Muse Remote Control and then click on the Show Drive button. Because we saved the activation request file in Drive C, it should be fairly easy to find. You can see mine's at the top of the list. Just double click on it and it should open the web browser on your home computer. When this first screen appears, just proceed through it by clicking Send. You will be taken to a login screen. If you already have NI username and password, go ahead and enter it. If you don't already have a Native Instruments account, go ahead and select this option and follow the steps to create one. After logging in, I'm presented with this page. Click Next to continue. On this page, I can clearly see that my complete 9 registration is OK. I'll click Next to download the return file. Now that my file is downloaded, I'll go ahead and locate it on my Mac. Now all I have to do is click and drag it over to my receptor's drive. Back inside Receptor Viewer, you can see we still have the Service Center open. All we need to do is simply click the Open button, and as before, change from Desktop to Drive C, and you should see the activation return file. Select it and click Open. 